Hello, it's Linda here from Papercraft with Crafty and thank you very much for joining me for part two of this tutorial on how to make my teapot. Um, this second half of, for the second part of my tutorial is giving you instructions on how to make this lovely lid. Okay, so far we've made a base and we've made the, the nozzle for the teapot. This tutorial is going to concentrate now on how to put together this lid. Okay, so again, it's going to be, I think, quite lengthy. Um, it's a little bit complex in places, um, but bear with me because I think you'll agree that it is really, it's very worthwhile um, and it does make a superb little teapot. Right then, for your lid, you're going to need a piece of cardstock which measures 11 and 3 quarters by 2 and 7 eighths of an inch. And what you're going to do is, um, on the short side, you're going to score at half an inch and at one inch. And then, on the long side of your cardstock, you're going to score at one and seven eighths of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, five and five eighths of an inch, seven and a half inches, nine and three eighths of an inch, and eleven and a quarter. OK, so that's what your scoring is going to look like. OK, so what you're going to do now is just flip your card round so that this little narrow edge here is at this side of your scoreboard. And you're just going to do some notching. So we're going to notch at, let's just see... one and three eighths of an inch, three and a quarter, five and one eighth, seven, eight and seven eighths, and ten and three quarters. Okay, so your cardstock now looks like that. So you've got this series of notching going on here at the top. So just flipping it back round now, we're going to do some scoring here. So taking your ruler and starting at this corner, you're going to score up to that notch and back down. And you're just going to go all the way along this cardstock now, just notching, or sorry, just scoring up to your notches and back down. Okay, so that is what your series of notching and scoring is now going to look like. Okay, so next thing you're going to need to do is we're going to do the little um, decorative pieces now that, that, that sit here all the way around the lid. So what you need for this is a piece of paper, so I'm using my coordinating paper which I've done to go with the actual teapot itself. Um, so what you need to do now is take yourself a pencil just okay what I've done I don't know if you can see you want to notch with your pencil at um, sorry you want to notch with your pencil let me just see at three quarters 
of an inch like that then take your pencil to one and a half inches and draw a line all the way down like that then you're going to notch at two and a quarter inches and then at three inches you're going to draw all the way down with your pencil then you're going to notch at three and three quarter inches and then move to four inches and draw all the way down then you're going to notch at five and a quarter inches and draw a line all the way down notch at six and three quarter inches and then at seven and a half draw a line all the way down and then finally you end up at eight and a quarter inches and you just want to notch okay so then that's what your card your paper stock's going to look like okay so then you're going to take your your ruler and you're just going to draw from this corner up to the notch and all, all the way back down to this corner here and you're just going to go all the way along your cardstock or paper stock and draw yourself what turns out to be a series of triangles And then we're going to cut them all out. Okay, so very well Okay, so the other little pieces you can save if you're going to make a teapot later on on another day. They're already done for you. Now, all you need to do is get them stuck down. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead now and I've stuck my decorative pieces onto onto the triangles that we'd scored. Now what you want to do is just lose yourself this little square corner here, like that. Um, and then just wedge that one, wedge this one and wedge here. Okay, so it looks like that. And then what you want to do is you want to just fold these ones in on themselves like that towards you. Oops, that's clever. Dropped it. Okay, so you've done all that now. And then what you're going to do is just take these score lines here and you're just going to press them, fold them up towards you and then as you're doing them you should find that they'll go together like that okay and that will help you get a really well defined crease for your triangle so just bring that in towards you pop that down so you see you've got nice really nice sharp creasing and whatever going on here Just 
crease that crease this one and this one I've got bits of glue and bits of sticky tape stuck everywhere my hands are so sticky where I've been using Tombow right okay and then what you're going to do is take this line here and you're just going to fold it up like that okay and then we're just going to pop this together like this with some double-sided tape along here okay so that's that done and now you're going to need a little hole punch so I'm using my handheld um, one eighth of an inch circle punch and what you need to do now is you're going to go around on each of these triangles just a little way down in the center you're going to punch a hole like that okay and you're just going to do that on each one of your triangles roughly in around about the same space okay so when you've got all those done you're now ready well you can see how it's going to go together actually um perhaps oh we did wedge it that's fine um what you'll see is it's going to sit like that now what we're going to do is we're going to put some thin ribbon or tape in these holes here but there is a method to this okay which i will try and show you as clearly as i can so you need relatively thin ribbon like this one okay so you want to just cut yourself off a length and what you're going to do is you're going to go in through the bottom and you're going to come out of this hole here like that and you're going to go back in the hole that's on the opposite side and feed it through like that so try and keep an even length of ribbon so that's going across there like that then what you're going to do is feed this ribbon through to the next hole on this side like that start to try and close your, your box up slightly if you can just start drawing them up together and this one is going to go to this one on the opposite side like that okay and that's now going to stay under and then you're going to take the other one pop it through this hole okay and this one is going to come across to the opposite hole and go back through okay so you kind of laced everything together like that and now you've got to start trying to just tighten it underneath so take your pull on your ribbons like that until you feel them start to come together there's a little knack to it and you just have to really kind of persevere but what you'll find is once you start pulling it will draw everything together you just want to keep that ribbon running across the top so that it looks 
like that. I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure I can get it any tighter than that. Whoops, just dropped my glasses. Um, so it looks like that underneath. Okay. And you don't need to worry too much about what it looks here on, on the top light because we're going to cover that in a minute with a, a flower finial. Okay, but basically that's how you draw it all together and you just want to tie yourself a knot underneath quite tightly. Do a double knot if you can. And you just want to cut that off now. If you can find a better way of getting these bits to stick together, then great. I should I should try. I did think about trying to glue these little sections, but I just don't think it would work. And I think that this works quite well. Okay, so now what you're going to need is a series of um, punches for the flower. Okay, so I've got my fun flower punch. And you, what you need to do is take a piece of cardstock and you want to punch out two of these. Try not to get it stuck. <laughs> so, I need two of those. Um, I have my pansy punch, and you want to cut out two of those. And I also have, oops, that's the wrong one, my little petite petals punch, and you want to just pop out one of those like that. Okay, and so for the first one, you're just going to bend the petals down like this. Grab yourself some Tombow. And just put a little bit on each of these petals. Just going to place it down on the top like that and hold them all down until you feel that they're starting to stick. Okay, so it takes a little while for the tombow to go off. And then when you're satisfied that you think it's all gone off, you're ready to take your next fun flower and you just want to curl each of the petals upwards and that's going to sit on there like that, okay? So you just want to grab yourself some glue dots. So I'm going to put three or four on the back of here, I think. will do. So I'm just going to sit that on there like so. Then I'm going to take the pansies and do exactly the same. build up a flower. I'm just going to finish off with the petite petal and I'm just going to stick I'm just going to stick a nice pearl embellishment on there. And I'm just going to curl up those leaves now. And that 
steps. And now it's just going to sit in the middle there. And that's the finial all done. Now, obviously if you've got more time than me, you can go around and make sure they're really stuck down well. That hasn't stuck down well enough underneath really, but I'm, I am rushing this for you. So that's the finial all done. That's the um, top of your, um, your lid. Now, I actually wanted to go around, I just thought it looked nice just to reflect these pearls here and add a few around here. So what I did, was I did a series of four along the front here so I won't do them all but it just give you an idea of what I did space them out nice and evenly and just go around the lid like that Okay, so you get the picture. You get the picture, that's that's what you do, and I just think that's really pretty. It does finish off the lid nice and easy and nice and prettily. So then that sits on top of your pot like so. And all that remains really now is to do the handle and to get the nozzle on. Okay, so here's the nozzle that we made earlier. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on now. And that gives you an idea, whoops, turn it up the right way, an idea, some idea of where you want to place your nozzle. Okay, so, whoops. So you, you make sure you get it the right way up. You don't want to come up too high. So I think somewhere around about there is nice, really. Um, and I'm going to just use double sided tape now to do mine. Um, I used Tombow when I did the other one earlier but just for the purposes of getting this done nice and quickly for you I'm going to use double sided tape and lots of it I'll stick a bit down the middle oops so you want to work out what's going to be the back of your mug so there's a seam there so I would put that towards the, the back and so I would put my nozzle here on the front so I come roughly central on the panel I'm just literally sticking it there with my double sided tape so that fits quite nicely pop the lid back on so you can see it's coming together quite nicely now and all that remains really is for the handle um, and forever for whatever you want to put in it so for my handle I have used I've used my one and I don't know if you can see that my one and three quarter inch punch circle punch so I'm just literally cutting that out there like that and then coming in with my two and a half inch circle punch and cutting myself out that okay now with this all you want to do is pop your circle that you've cut out onto your board and then at the top now I haven't done it on this one um, what you want to do is score yourself a line come all the way down and hop along to go all the way back up okay so that's your handle and then you just literally want to fold those little those little score lines so you've got something that looks like that then um, I just take a bit of Tombow and round about here I'll stick that. It's my phone going. My husband's just going to go and answer it for me. <laughs> there we 
you go so that's the handle so just let that go off now and then all you need to do is stick this here like this so I shall use Tombow to do that You see what's come quite a little way down. I'm not doing this very well. <gasps> it's nerves, I tell you. Nerves. You just want to hold that now till it goes off. So just hold that in place until the tombow sets. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that's set quite well. And then all that remains is for the lid to go back on. And that is my little teapot. Um I really enjoyed this project. I really enjoyed researching it, putting it together. Um I hope that you enjoy it too. Um, do have a go. Um, do share your photos with me because I always love to see those. Um, I have a blog and I know it's not diff it's not easy to share your photos there. You can always send them to me on an email and I'll be quite happy to put them in my gallery. Um, my blog is www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. I also have a Facebook page which is called Papercraft with Crafty. Um, so you're very welcome to visit me there um, and to share any photographs of your projects with me there also. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I will be back with another project for you.